Hi guys, and here, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from the Obsidian Order. And today we're back outside here, outside Explorer's Guild where we, we did the landscaping recently. And today I want to start thinking about how I can stop tying some of these water features I have around here. So, we have the temporary, well that was the temporary pond which I put in place to bring my cows down. But we can do something with that water feature over there. Maybe have a bigger pond, maybe a bit further down here. Or maybe up there and have a separate pond down here. We've also, I believe, I can get up here. My best is flying. Here we are, we've got a pond here as well. So I just wonder if we could maybe connect this pond as well into it. If we can maybe connect it around here. Maybe have a water feature going around this side. Have a waterfall from this one going down to there. It's then a question about whether we can then tie with this bigger pond down here as well. Ooh. Let's see if we can make our way down this way. That's a bit further down, isn't it? But I think to start off with, maybe have a water feature around here, around to that, over to there. I think what I wanted to do though is get some stone together first, just to at least work out a rough basin for it because around here we'll have to be filled in because we've got this big gap here. I suppose we'll always have it filled up to a certain level over here and then maybe come across and go into this pond here as well. I think that could work. So I'm going to grab some stone. We're going to see if we can put together some form of a floor around here. How much stone have I got? I've got plenty. Well I say I've got plenty. I've not got a lot actually. So I'm going to click on and have a look at doing this. I'll be back with you shortly and then we'll see where we go from here. Okay, we've got ourselves a bit of a space here now, which I've managed to level off. I've not gone quite over that far to there. I can always extend if I want to and add that down there. I'm not sure if I do yet. Hello, Miss Creeper. We'll see. But again, it's just a straightforward stone block for the moment, we'll decorate this all up later. What I need to do now is think about getting that water down into here. And then also, I've been working on this pond, extending it out. So let's come up to here. And just land up on the edge here. So that will pour into there. So if I just take you out and you out, and that's going to hit. So I've got one waterfall down to here, which I will just now make it a little bit bigger. All right, that's those two in place. In fact, one more bit, I'll just pop a couple of lights down. If I put a torch on that, is it going to make the sun drop? No. There we go. So I've got one waterfall coming down to there. So now I just need to go up to that one. Again, a couple of well-placed torches around here. Won't go amiss. If I just take you right here, am I going to hit that block first? I am. I'll tell you what, if I could take out one, two, three, you can see. Ow! Let's fly back up, and then what I can do, I'll block the water off and then send it that back down again. Alright, let's take this water back down again. This time, there should be no kicking it out. And that will fall quite naturally that way into here. That's again, we need some decoration. This is getting the basic functionality. I also want to raise this up another block as well. So it's roughly this height. Oops. So then when I am walking on this path here, the water will be at this height. I'm also going to put them put a pathway What's going to come under up here? In fact, I might even take it off there as well. And underneath, over here, under the waterfall by the water, talking it down to the geo there. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Thank you. You can go away. But I think that is going to work. So, what I need to do now is get this raised up. And then think about, I might just block the water off anyway for the moment. And then we'll start thinking about what sort of decor I want on the bottom of the floor here. So I don't just want stone, I want some grass and gravel and so forth. In fact, I might even go and get 
Oh, I could just convert this into moss. Because then I suppose I could just come underneath it then. And sort of decorate underneath here. And sort of just bring this back in. Hide it out of the way. And that will work just nicely. So, let's go get some moss, some burnt blocks. And uh, we'll take it from there. And I've even got a glow squid joining me down here as well. So, let's see how that looks. Okay, this is what we've got now. We've got our waterway in place. It's all sea pickles on the bottom. And I've just gone around and bone milled part of it just to give it that base down here as well. Mixed in some of the walls, got them a bit textured. Got our waterfall. It seems to be pouring over the edge for some reason. But you know what? I don't mind that. That's quite nice. What I need to do now is just to probably finish it off is on here. Probably go with what we've got around here and that's the half slab trim and put it on there. I'm still really tempted to take this over this way and have that go into there. I heard a zombie. Or more precisely a baby zombie. Anyway, I'm, I'm tempted to do that and then at least then I can floor a waterfall into there so we must get a staircase going down to there anyway because we need to do something with that so i think i'm going to do that as well and also what i want to do as well is not so much here but from here is maybe take this out this fence out here and then i'll have a path going underneath this waterfall Pad a bit more deco underneath there as well we'll have this path leading out this way as though it's going to be heading down towards that geode there. There isn't anything else out here at the moment, but there could well be in the future. What has gone on here? None of it actually makes sense where that water's falling. Let's see if I can block that off. Well, this is when I was changing the blocks out earlier. I'll just take this one out here, this should be the middle one, and then this end one, and then that end one. That's better. Don't mind the overspray, but I think we're going to affect the pathways. But, so we'll get a pathway in from here, just coming around here, and that go around there, and then we'll add some deco around the edge of this, just to finish the trim off, and it sort of ties it in with that here over here as well. I think that'll work out quite nicely. But while I sort this out, Vid contacted me recently, he had a debt one and he's repaying and he wants to know if I want to give him a hand. And at the same time, it also turned out, I also had a debt one needed to be paying. So, we got them both dealt with at the same time. You also complained about me, by the way. No, I, I didn't. No, he... he oh, okay. I don't, so, I'm, I'm, I don't... I'm winding him up. If you look at Conky Town on the, the police station. Yeah. There's a sign yep. above the and... door. Yeah. What said, Cranky Town Police Department. I keep changing it. It currently says uh, Cranky Touches Pig Droppings. <laughs> I keep changing that and I'll make it just uh, mind Cranky with that. <laughs> oh, that is, that's hilarious, mate. So, uh, uh, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Right, I have this, I have this, um, I, I want to pay Sunfire back. I want to give him his two diamonds, okay? Okay. Uh, so that is that is my idea for a prank. So if we come out here into Sunfire, it's very lovely, by the way, it plays. Where he now has a massive boat as well. Oh, wow. I saw the... Um... Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, paid for with tax money, no doubt. Yeah? Oh, no doubt. So I thought, I thought uh, you know, we could make a thing where it says, okay, here's your two diamonds, right? Just press this button. And when the button is pressed, uh, two diamonds are dropped into the lava or something like that. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> <laughs> That's my idea. So yeah, let's set it up here then. So yeah, we basically, we need a like a dropper. <laughs> we just need a dropper and some, you know, a dropper with two diamonds in it, some redstone and like a glass tube so they fall right into the lava, right? Yep. Sounds like a plan. Uh, and... Uh, I have no clue what I did last because it's been a while, but I have all sorts of rubbish in my. But I do have this stuff, so. We'll uh, right. I've got I've got gunpowder on me, and that's it. Bottles of it. 
Well, I have a redstone box, and I have some... Like, I need to empty my inventory. I don't know what's going on here. I have your head! No, that's Avalar's head. Oh, that's Evil Avalar! I do remember vaguely doing something with Evil Avalar last time I was on, but I, I can't really quite remember what it was. So I have, have some lava. tools. Um, what about lava? I do have an empty bucket, though. Uh, I don't have lava. Oh. That's not good. I'll just flooded this. Should I go grab some lava? Have... Yep, that's good. Get, get some lava. So that is. I'm so sorry I failed to pay with real diamonds. Press the button to receive your due payment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah, glass. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's lava there. Put it in. Yeah, you can put it in. We should try it with two, uh, I don't know, uh, two pieces of wood here instead first. All right, just to illustrate. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're gone. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so there we go. Diamonds are in. I've paid Sunfire back his what he's due. Excellent. That's what he wanted. He's got his yep. money back. He's got his money back, and uh, I have two of his blocks, though. Just to be perfectly clear, I'm now putting them here as well. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case he wants his two blocks back. Yep, yep. So we don't have to repeat this uh, repayment method. <laughs> Next time, I'll repay him with TNT, all right? <laughs> oh, that sounds like a good one. All right, so do you yeah. have any other pranks in mind, mate? Uh, I hadn't thought of much at the moment. I've been sort of just... I said I did the... Um, he's cleared all the me, me carts away. Oh, it? yeah. Oh, man, it's awesome. Thank you for the bacon butties. I love them. They're so <laughs> yummy, mate. I've got, actually, I've got a load of pigs back at my base, I'll just keep feeding them up, so I don't know whether to do something else with it or not. Um, oh. But I, I feel if we are to pr do another prank, we shouldn't do it uh, towards Sunfire. We should we should find a different subject, and well, Adela is, is a prime subject, as always. But I don't know exactly what, uh, what well, to I, do. I, uh... I've got one for Cranky to do at some point. At the start of the season, he had built... A little mountain of a little, little hill of dirt where my enchanted set up is. Yep, yep. And I yep. removed it. Yep. And you made a comment about it being removed. Yep. Something about just like give him a bigger mountain back. Oh, dirt. we can we can just build him an enormous dirt mountain, mate. Yeah. So yeah, he had he had built a custom hill here, and and you uh, and you I, came I in with your it. bulldozer saying, "Okay, this is just this is my enchanting setup here." Yeah, yeah, that's that's. Uh, I mean, that's good, but we do need to give him his dirt back for sure. Yeah, it's a big stack. Maybe of we should go and do that. Yeah, actually, I've got anything here. I don't know if I got much here or not. It's not. I don't know either. I'll I'll have a look in my little. Tor torn down tower. Three and a half stacks of dirt here. I've got nine stacks of dirt as well. All right, cool. I'm just gonna. I don't know how sorted this place is, so I'm gonna look through everything here. Man, that scared me. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is totally uh... <laughs> cranky. Oh my gosh, this is so big. Yeah. We'll put it on top of his glass thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's for sure. So yeah, that is not—it's not much. I have three and a half stacks of dirt. We're gonna have to make do with just a little bit, right? There's a couple of stacks we want. I've got quite a few on me. All right, cool. This is about army pain. Is plus with interest. Oh yeah. Oh, I should have given uh, Sunfire some interest as well, of course. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Yeah. Sorry I removed your custom hill. I returned your dirt with interest, Ander. That is awesome. Excellent. Nothing like a bit of pranking. <laughs> He'll appreciate it. I'm sure he will. <laughs> I'm sure he will, yeah. You can never get too much dirt, really, to be honest. 
And we are back after that. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of fun time I had with Vid. Just pranking Sun and Crank it with a bit of repayment of debt, shall we say. But it's been a while since I've been back on here to finish recording. Since so much so, we're now 1.19. But what I've done now, I've added, extended this over here now and dropped it off. I probably need to do a bit more work underneath here just to finish winding, sort of winding, wrapping it up and decorating it. But I've now got that connection into here as well. I've also quickly put in a staircase to start off with. and need some more work up there. But this does get down to this level. And we can think about what we want to do with this piece of water going forward. But also on the other side, you see there's a staircase in there. And I've opened up around there as well. And this now leaves. Added some greenery underneath this uh, lake here. But this pathway now goes down to here. All the way down to here, and this will take me right away over to the geode. So, again, it's more waterways in place. I can start thinking about adding stuff into these areas here, digging into them, things like I need the smelter and, and, and the like. But add those sort of things in going forward. I'm also going to look, come down here. That lava is overflowing there. I wonder if I block that off there, I can actually stop that lava flowing and see what's underneath that. Might be worth checking out what's over there at some point as well. And then I think this comes into the geode. Want to do something with this here as well. Make it a bit of a farm, I think. Or the one down below. We'll have to think about that. But it's it's coming together. This area out here is starting to fill up. And I want to do some more work. I say more around here. I also want to do more stuff down in the cave below. And I want to sort of finish that project and get that wrapped up as well. And I think we need some more stuff in the village as well. So there's still plenty of stuff what we can do around here. To sort of start completing things off. And it's whether do I want to stop bringing the greenery out into here perhaps. Maybe really extend the greenery out and see what we can do down there. But plenty of things to do going forward. And with 1.19 just arrived. We've got other options there regarding getting off of the mangrove store for ancient cities. And all that other stuff. What we could potentially look forward to as well. But right now, on that note, I'm going to wrap this episode up. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, leave a like. Consider subscribing if you're new around here. And, oh, one last thing. I'm back with the episode up here. I haven't even, one more thing. I got a visitor down here. This chap. Now, I'm not doing villager breeding this season at all. I'm, I'm going to leave that to other people. However, I do have a few villagers over in the village who I do do a bit of trading with. But he's, he's I'll, I'll convert him and I'll put let him roam free around the house and then we'll maybe get him trading with something like that. So that village, zombie village I can convert, I will keep. But I say I'm not doing any villager breeding. But yeah, we've got we've got a friend down here now. He could be, he could be the manager of the guild when we get him converted. That that probably be his role here. I, I think I should maybe decorate around here as well. Get this decorated up as well. Yeah. Plenty more to do. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that jazz. Subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell to be notified of future content. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.